Okay, class. I'm going to talk about the uh, rational expressions with adding, subtracting, and also we're solving rational equations. So back back in for chapter six, and let's start with one of the crazy one complex fractions. One half over one half plus three over a squared. So you want to take a look at that the numerator and the denominator. So first thing that you want to find out is the LC 2a squared. So basically just multiply that 2a squared top and the bottom. Cancel. So we got 2, 2. Cancels out. So we got a squared. And then for the denominator, all Squared. And then a squared times 2a squared. So a squared got cancelled. We got 3 times 2. And then from here, nothing we can factor, nothing we can. Student can be reducible, but the thing is, the top part, it's a. It's a quadratic. I know nothing we can reduce because you're in. Let's see the one that is considered reducing in the study packet. So we do have b squared plus 2b over plus ab plus 15. So, first thing that you want to check is the greatest common factor. So, there's no greatest common factor involved. So, that means we can basically factor this with a smiley face. We can just simply factor it mentally. So we do have b plus 3, and then b minus 1. And then denominator, so b 5 and 3. So b plus 3. And as you may notice, it's the same binomial, top and the bottom, so we can reduce. And the one that's remained, we Value so again denominator is zero. So once we set the denominator equals zero, so we got v equals negative five, and this one is called excluded now. Anytime that the denominator equal to zero, so that means the whole thing is good. Okay, so now let's do a look at some other problem that we have on the packet here, especially the one with the synthetic division. So let's do one problem. So for the synthetic division, so here's what we got. And x to the top 3, x squared plus minus 19. And then the whole quantity divided by x plus 7. So for the synthetic divisions, the first thing that you want to do, you want 1, 9, 12, and negative 9. Because I want to set that. And for the synthetic division, the first number, you don't do anything about it. You always want to bring it down. And then 1 times negative 7, which is negative 7. 2 times negative 7, negative 14. And then negative 14 plus 12, negative 2 times negative 7, which is 14, and then and now for the polynomial, the quotient, so let's just rewrite your binomial, so that means the original power can reduce by 1 degree. So plus 2x minus 2, and then plus negative 5 over And here's the final quotient with the remainder over to the. Now let's do some other complicated problem. Solving rational equation, that's always one of the, the struggle. So let's take a look at that for number two, four, or six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's number four. 
So the key part for doing rational equation is all about finding the least common denominator. Or we can just compare that. We have 1 over n squared equals 5 over I want to find we got n squared, n squared for common denominator. And then another thing that you see right here is 2 and 4. So that means we take the multiples of 2, which is 4. So 4n squared, which is the least common denominator. And then the next step, you want to convert each denominator all the way to the common denominator. So for the missing element, compare that n squared, 4n squared. So we need to multiply by 4 top and bottom. Well, this one is already given, so it's 5. Simply bring it down. And then the third one, so we got 2n squared. So multiply by 2, top and the bottom. So back to the left hand side, we got 4 over 4 n squared. And then the right hand side of the equation, we got 5 over 4 n squared. And then the binomial multiplied by the constant, so we do have 2n minus 10. So once you deal with the exact same denominator, guess what you can do? You can always cross them out. Okay, just bring it down. So 5 minus 10, which is negative 5, plus 2n. So this one is one of the...